Welcome back to Ayaz Tech. My name is Ayaz Afar. In this video, you are going to learn that how to add a Visivic editor or a rich text area in your Angular project with the help of Quill.js. So, before we begin, if you did not subscribe to my YouTube channel yet, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification from my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so, let's begin. I already have uh, written an article on this already. So after watching this video, if you don't, uh, if you also want to <clears throat> read about the uh, about this same topic in the form of article, then you can read that as well. I will provide this this link in the video description as well. So there are several ways to add Visivic editor in the Angular, uh, like CK editor and things like so. Uh, but in this video, I'm going to use uh, Quill.js. Quill.js is very famous and uh, uh, powerful library that you can use. It has a lot of options and a lot of features that you can use. You can read its documentation if you want to use all of uh, its functions or if you want to use other functions that are not mentioned in this video. So, there are a lot of configurations out there that you can try if you want. So let's begin. So first of all, we will create a uh, uh, new Angular project from scratch. So for that, we will type the <coughs> Angular CLI command to create a new project. Ng new. So type the CSS and just wait for it. <coughs> All right, <laughs> Angular project has been installed. Now let's uh, go into the folder. I asked check and you can see that all files are there. We now we need to open it in the VS code for that type code space dot that will open the VS code within that folder. Okay, now you can see all of these files are available here. Next, open the terminal in the VS code and type. Now we need to install some dependencies to make the uh, Visivic editor work proper, properly. So for that, we need to install the Quill library and also there is another library uh, for the Quill that uses the Angular, that is ngx Quill. So we need to install both of these uh, uh, libraries. So let's type these and pm install save and quill ngx dash quill and press enter. So wait for it. All right. Uh, these dependencies are installed to make sure you can also go back to the package.json and you will see that these libraries are uh, added in the package.json dependencies section and uh, now you need to open the source folder go to the app folder and open the app.module and here you need to import the quill module So we have imported the Quill module. After importing it, you need to add dot for root because you are adding it inside the root module. Now, after importing the Quill module, you can use it in the component that is uh, uh, declared in the same module. So before doing that, let's uh, run this server by typing ngs minus o. That mean that means uh, ng serve and minus o means it would open a new tab for us okay this port is being used so i will use a different port for that i will type minus port dash dash port space 444 you can type use any port that you want so 
for the first time it uh, may take few seconds okay it has been deployed you can see that this is the default angular html template that is available uh, when you install it uh, we don't need it so i am going to remove the basic html that it was there already you can see now the html has been removed now i need to add the quill editor here so that we can see how it works so for that there is a tag that so actually before doing that you also need to import the styles uh, for the quill.js for that these are the styles that you need to add in the global style file that is the style.scss in the source directory just paste or add these uh, css file from the quill uh, node.js module so these uh, css files are coming from the node.js module so this this character means that it is taking uh, the files from the node.js module so if you go to the node.js module then you will find the quill let me search for it for that type quill you can see that uh, so this is ngx quill and other quill would be there so let me find it yeah this one you can see it is here and inside the quill it is looking for the disk directory and in the disk directory there is a quill.core.css so similarly other fi other files are also there so that's all you need to add now you are ready to use the quill editor by just adding this tag and now save it and reload your browser and you will see okay you can see that the quill editor the rich text area is available now this is you can call it visible editor or you can also call it rich text area here you can type anything and you can bold it uh, let me try to increase the height of it there should be some specific attribute that is used for the height that you can also look from here so anyways so that's all uh, that's how it, uh, it works you you can see that you can type anything and you can bold your name your text like this you can make it heading you can change the size you can change the colors and a lot of options are there like uh, in a rich text area so th that is very interesting so i think that's all that uh, i wanted to uh, show you in this video uh, i hope you liked my video please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any notification and also please like share and comment my video and also share uh, other ideas if you have any uh, any better idea to uh, add the rich text area in the angular if you have any other ideas you can share with me uh, on the comment section thank you for watching see you next time